What is that? Yeah, it's the, it's the elf game. What the fuck? Ew. Wait. Ah! Who's elf? Oh, am I stupid? It's the, uh, um... It's the 80s uh, TV show. Oh. Yeah. That reminds me of that fucking show isn't with the with dude. Isn't he with Kermit? And... He's with Kermit, right? Isn't there, isn't there that one show with the, mm, with the fucking no. bear and the Hey, don't the bring Kermit back into this. I hated that guy as a guest. You mean bear in the blue, big blue house? What'd you say, you motherfucker? Wait a minute. <laughs> That's what How'd I was just thinking here? of with, You gonna step to Kermit? <laughs> Kermit will step to you. Pull out the strap on you. <laughs> Don't don't make don't make me and my squad over here bust a cap in your ass. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good Yo. one. Yo. Yo, cause on crypt though. No. On crypt. <laughs> this is terrible. Stop. Stop. Don't make me pull out the cannon. Stop. Um, the hand cannon, they say. I can't Yo, trick handle you. Hand, you, hand you, hand you, you let me tell you what happened to Big Bird. Wasn't no accident. <laughs> How are you gonna say that when his actor just died? <laughs> I know. Yeah, you know, I thought about it, and midway, I was like, I shouldn't say this, but I've already committed. It kind of makes sense, at least. Yo, but, I'm um, so sick. Hey, yeah. rip to my nigga, though. Rip true, to my nigga, true. though. Hey, we only go ham out here. Market. <clears throat> this is the Market Podcast. My name's Hyg, and I sound like shit. Um, Bernie, is that you? <laughs> I'm Wesley. We switched uh, roles today because his voice is fucked. <laughs> yeah, he's too busy doing uh, conferences. Cheap. I'm Trey, and I'm not dying. Unfortunately, I'm back. <clears throat> is it my turn? It's we, the same shirt too. Actually, his name his name's back. We got Kevin. Kevin's back. Kevin's back. <clears throat> everyone, everyone, quickly. Shh. Don't tell him, but don't look at Nico. Don't don't even realize he's here. He's not here. Okay, don't. so we're gonna so we're gonna get just right into it. <laughs> we're just gonna get right into it. God, all four of us here. What a meme. God, just the four of us sitting at this table. No one else. It's the life sometimes, man. <laughs> Big no. oh, ow. Ew. Who was yeah. that? That hurt my ears. It was Nico. <laughs> Who? Who? <laughs> <laughs> what? Damn, bro. That? You were you were, igno oh, you were uh, ignoring Nico, and then you were the one who said it's Nico. All right, let's get the show on the road. All right, um, yeah, we got Kevin back on the pod. Yeah, we. How's it going, man? <clears throat> Doing all right, you know. I got no work for this entire week. Like, yeah, we haven't had a guest on in a while, and I was talking to him last night, and he's like, "Well, I guess I'm not going to work this week." I was like, "You want to go on the podcast tomorrow?" <laughs> you want to work for like, us sure. for no money? Oh, at well, all? I was about to say we're not paying you. Yeah, free. Well, you guys are being paid. <laughs> Well, I am. <laughs> no wonder I. How no wonder, much? No, no wonder I received a raise. If anybody should be paying, being paid, it's probably Wesley. You're the one editing. Yeah, he's uh, the one yeah. editing. But Nico, well, I, was again, say, I was just like, what am I doing? Again, what about Nico with production? Then again, probably yeah. second. Exactly. Yeah. Nico helps set it up. Hi's the host, production. and I give my commentary. So, I do all the social uh, media. Trey's the only one that doesn't need to be paid. <laughs> hey, fuck you. <laughs> Trey gets paid um, in like uh, hey. what you call it? Lollipops. Representing in lollipops. Jeez. You know, they just post his stuff everywhere. Exactly. Oh, here's Trey, by the way. So, um, uh, normally I host the podcast, but uh, since I sound like garbage because I'm sick, I'm going. Um, Wesley and Trey are going to help me out with that. Well, everyone's going to help me out with that, really. But uh, I'm going to start it off here um, real quickly, just in, in sort of housekeeping. Next week's podcast is going to be all about the PlayStation State of Play that was announced a few days ago. That's going to be on Tuesday, which is tomorrow for us, 9 a.m. Eastern. So we're going to watch that, um, I'm sure, and then we'll get around to talking about that next week. But the big thing is that the Game Awards is happening this Thursday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time, which we might do a live stream of. You wouldn't know because this will come out after <laughs> that happens, but... Um, we gotta discuss that still. Okay. Reaction. Wait, are you free Thursday? Not at all. Oh. At, at, I mean, you know what I'm doing Thursday. After 30, yeah, I'll be good. Okay, then we'll do that. I think Kenyatta might come too. Bro, okay. honestly, cool. I might I might see if I can spend the night on Wednesday night. Because after right. class, because like after my Wednesday class, I'm like, I don't have a Thursday I'm class. I feel free, but this isn't until like the evening anyway. anyway so. I mean, what does that mean to me? <laughs> all right. Nothing, I guess. Where's there's supposed to be like ten to fifteen new game announcements during the game awards, alongside really? all the winners of the actual awards. So, all right, yeah, and you got I'm, things going on there like uh, 
Churches is playing their Death Stranding song. Uh, mm. Green Day's playing there for some reason. So really? Yeah. Green Day. Yeah, we'll see what happens. God, I haven't heard Green <clears throat> Day in years. They're still kicking, apparently. Good for them. I mean, there's no reason to think that they wouldn't be, I guess. Yeah, they're popular. Yeah, I'm less interested in the awards more so than um, the game announcements, which I think that's the same for everyone. Also, I, I want to see. I would right. actually, from what I've seen, I think people are the opposite. A really? lot of people were just like, yeah, "I'm not too care too much about awards." They're like, "I want to see what they announce." Uh, I'm, I'm kind of. Did I not say that? Yeah, th- n- yeah, no, that's what he said. Did you say? I thought you said the opposite. No, he said that he wants to see the games, not the awards, mostly. That's not what I heard. <laughs> roll, roll back. Roll I'm about back to say, the time clip. for a rewind, Wesley. You I was gotta about to say, roll back the clip. Flashback, if know. I'm right, say boo to Haig. If I'm wrong, say boo to Haig. What? <laughs> so we'll never know. Flashback. Um, we'll know on Friday. <laughs> yeah, we will. Um, I feel like there's something else to say on top of that. Please uh, don't. Wow. <laughs> I don't blame you. Chill out. All right. Chill so yeah, I mean that's that's next week's podcast. That's good. that's all the stuff going on this week, um, and then as well. So I wanted to really quickly go over what uh, what games has everyone been playing? Anything new? No. No. I still need to get Jedi's Fallen Order, uh, but I, l- well, Wesley still hates games. Listen to me. No, listen to me. I have lots of stuff he's to been buy. He's playing Pokemon. He's got. He's playing games. I have lots of stuff to buy right now. But he's not playing with us. Yeah, that's true. He hasn't played Halo with us at all. Exactly. That's another thing. I also need to get that. So Halo MCC has started its rollout on PC, and the first game is Halo Reach. Oh, it's fun. Um, and so. You can either get Halo Reach for ten dollars on PC on Steam or the Windows Store, and or you can get the whole thing for forty, um, all the games, although they're not out yet because they'll come out. They're gonna roll out over the next year and a half. Cheat. And goddamn, <laughs> is that game still fun? Yeah, it looks. I mean, it looks better. It's not. It's not a remake, but it like it's it's an upres. It runs super well in most cases. Boy, it made the, me realize how trash I am. <laughs> <laughs> the matchmaking still could use a little bit of work. But oh yeah, the matchmaking. But um, other than that, like in terms of like low, like matchmaking times, I mean, um, but it's been pretty fun to jump back in there and play the game. I think this is my the, friends on PC too. It's been so long. I think this is the only time that I can have a better score than Kevin in a PC shooter <laughs> <laughs> because, True. because he, abs- he absolutely hates uh uh. SWAT. He absolutely hates SWAT. Fucking SWAT. And I love SWAT. I love, I love SWAT. SWAT. Love so SWAT is the best. Fucking and like, SWAT. Kevin, there's, there's one surefire way to get Kevin upset, and there's one surefire way to get me upset in video games. With me, it's lag. What the fuck fucking, is that map? Fucking hate lag. Number two, when I Kevin... I forgot what that map when was. Kevin, when Kevin, like, can't play the game, and that he, like, he's just not good at it, and he just keeps getting killed over and over and over again. And that's what happens in SWAT. I remember I saw Kevin spawn across the map. As soon as he spawned, his character fell over because someone shot him. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, that's rough. Yeah, Halo... <clears throat> it's Halo like worse than Call of Duty. <laughs> Halo Reach has its, so uh, its, its problems with uh, spawn killing and stuff. I mean, it's not the same... You know, I realize it's not like Call of Duty. You can't camp a certain area and like yeah. lock people down to one and then keep killing them over and over in again. In a way, you kind of can, especially in the new ones. In yeah, the, uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm saying in Call of Duty, you can do that. But oh. in Halo Reach, in Halo in general, you can't. Yeah, in Halo, way, you can't. Because of the way the spawn system works, that's not possible. Yeah, you can spawn kill someone, but you can't repeatedly spawn. Yeah, you can someone. do it once, and then they'll spawn somewhere else. Like, I mean, you kind of memorize where they spawn, and that's yeah. it. You kind of judge from there. Yeah, I mean, you can you can tell where anybody spawns if you open a, one of the maps in Forge. It has yeah. all the spawn points around. Um, and boy, does it suck. Uh, yeah, it's been pretty fun. I was, I mean, I, I've always said that SWAT and probably Infection are my favorite modes yeah, from Reach. Definitely. Um, four was more Slayer and Regicide for me, um, but I play SWAT in all five, in all three of these, and then Halo Five was also is also Slayer, SWAT, and uh, there was no Regicide, but I played. Um, but yeah, it's basically it, just the two of those. So SWAT is the is the thing that stays. Yes. In all of them. God, your voice sounds like I'm tripping <laughs> over rocks. <laughs> I swallowed a bag of bricks. <laughs> Damn, bro. That's, that's, that's rough, yeah. Yeah. Darius I mean, said hey. your voice sounds like ra- gravel. I was like, yeah. Oh, that was two days ago, so it's it, like it your, sounds completely yeah, different now. You're gargling gravel. That's what it is. <laughs> all right. That's um, the name of this episode, by the way. Is there anybody else who's been playing anything else? Um, Let me think. 
I've played some Halo Reach too, but that's. Yeah. That's I already oh, said Call of oh. Duty Modern Warfare released their battle pass. Oh yeah, I heard. I heard it's actually pretty good. From a, there, there's a good, there's some good stuff in it. You know, as long as you just play, then you just level up. Really, there's yeah. no like missions, nothing dedicated to it. That's fine. There's like what skins, new icons, emblems, new characters for your um, thing, and they also brought back what, what's that map from uh, was it Modern Warfare One? I don't, I don't. The one which, with the, the crash. Yeah, I mean, crash. I just, they saw, brought I just that saw back the other day. They brought that back and they did a few changes to it too. Mm-hmm. So it's like a little bit more open and a little bit more maneuverable. It's kind of funny how they did that when they just remade the original Modern Warfare like two years ago. <laughs> I need to get that game because I don't th- get it. I I'll think play. Come on. I think the only game that I have because I'll be like chatting with someone, but I have a whole lot of like cinematic games or like games that I need to pay attention to. Um, so I just need a game that I can essentially just turn my brain off to. Yeah. Kind of just sit down and just shoot everybody, right? Yeah. yeah. And I think that's it. The Call of Duty is great for that. Call of Duty. Come yeah, on. it's always been Call of Duty, and I've yet, I have yet to get. I'm going to get it soon, though. The I just best need part is Christmas if you get, you can get it wherever. If you get it on PC, you can play with all the yeah, consoles. It's cross it's all cross play. Yeah. Yeah. I would just get it on PC because it'll probably run better than any other place. Um, but you can um, play with anywhere. But you could probably mm, plug in your PlayStation controller. You can. As far as games that I've been playing, again, aside from uh, Halo, um, I started playing Resident Evil 2 again. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to, like, <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I forget. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, Meanwhile, right. Hag's having a heart attack. Um, I just beat Leon's story and I forgot. God. He forgot how the story went. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, this is how you do a remake. This is how you do it. And I started Claire's story that I haven't I haven't played Claire's story oh, my two up. in forever. So you haven't played since the original, essentially. I uh, I haven't played Claire since the original. Mm-hmm. But because once I played Leon, I was like, I'm gonna I'm gonna give this game a break for a while and play some other things. I just never went back to Claire. Went back to Claire and I'm like, I forgot it was like this. I completely forgot it was like this, because the point they that they start you off at. So the point where they start out with off with Claire is pretty much Twisted. the middle of the game with Leon. So like you're already close to meeting Mr. X and all that stuff. And yeah. there are like a bunch of zombies and there's you have to go through certain areas that Leon you would have you would have to go through later. <clears throat> and it's like this is this this is definitely not Leon's playthrough. Oh, this but no, I'm having fun with it. And then I got my first. I got my first competitive team done with Pokemon. Oh, cool! That Wesley faced. He didn't oh, even. Boy. He didn't even face all my all my dudes. Yo, he fucking got. I want to say, how did that go? <laughs> Dude, I don't really need to ask. I got. He got fucking I got whooped. double flinched on what move? Iron head. He. He iron headed. Yeah, he iron headed me twice, yes. and I got flinched twice. And it was, uh, and it was on both of the mons that I that had answers to that particular Pokemon. The best part was he had a substitution too. <laughs> I had a substitution. Yeah, 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 yeah. He opened up with a substitution and then flinched. <laughs> I, had a, I, had a, I had a substitution bulked up twice. And then double flip. God, that was so. It, it was over. It was over. I, kinda, I couldn't do anything. I kind of want to rematch him just so that double flinch thing won't happen. Yeah, so like the because it was literally and, over. It was yeah. it was over <clears throat> after I got double flinched. But yeah, that was in the beginning of the game. That was like turn what five? Pretty much. Like yeah. Turn three and four somewhere somewhere yeah. around there. But yeah. yeah, God, that was tragic. That was hilarious. <clears throat> um, I'm so upset. He couldn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> uh. The only other thing I want to say is that, <clears throat> Jesus Christ, <laughs> um, I've been playing a little bit more Death Stranding. It's getting even better as it goes along. Nice. It gets more and more interesting as it goes. Which is there, is like, to, more black liquid everywhere? <laughs> That's only if you get caught. Ooh, spicy. Um, All right. Yeah, I think I'm on episode five now. I haven't played the last few days because I've been feeling like garbage, so I've just been kind of on the computer just chilling. Grease! Um, so, yeah. Sure. All I right. think that's it. Um, I'm going to start off the window shopping and then I'll pass it off to Wesley because I can't talk for too long. All probably. Right. Yeah. So I want to make a quick clarification and then we'll jump right into the window shopping. Um, so last week I talked about the difference between... I was talking about how Project Lockhart, which is the Xbox console thing that I was talking about, um, one was canceled 
And two, I was con- I, I said some things about what each thing meant. I wanted to clarify. So Project Scarlet is the next generation Xbox platform. Project Anaconda is the name of the of like the powerful console of like the one that we would presume is the Scarlet when we talk about it. Okay. Um and then the smaller one is Project Lockhart. But Scarlet is like the platform as a whole. But when yeah. people talk about Scarlet, they're usually talking about the main one, the, the big one. Yeah. So, because um, I was confused last week, I uh, talked about it being like a streaming box and something like that. Yeah. So, that's not what the case. But, you know, I just said it was canceled. Doesn't sound like it is. Because there's a new report from Kotaku. Um, Jason Schreier over there, always doing the God's work. Um, so, him and his, Kotaku and its sources have discovered that Xbox Lockhart is still in development. It's still, it's still, it's still a thing, um, despite speculation that it had been canceled. So the reason why they thought that it was canceled is that after e- or during E3 this year, they announced Scarlet, and they made it seem like it would be one console, like one box, um, which led many people to believe that the rumors previously about there being two was, wasn't true anymore. Um, but according to his sources, that's not the case. Uh, so Lockhart seems like it will be a digital only box. Uh, one one developer described its raw power similar to that of the PS4 Pro. And uh, we just we just discovered I'm gonna talk a little more about this thing later, but there's also some more rumors today that we discovered that it seems like they're gonna shoot for about four terabyte not terabytes uh, four teraflops, teraflops of uh, of computing power compared mm-hmm. to the Xbox One X's six. Um, so it's not gonna be a very powerful console. Um, in terms of like next generation, but it'll be a, a cheaper option um, yeah. of of next generation. The big difference that the thing that makes this not a PS4 Pro, other than the fact that it's an Xbox, is that it's going to ha- it's still going to have a more powerful CPU. It says that the CPU is going to be more powerful than any current console's CPU is, which isn't surprising because we're still on this AMD Jaguar garbage. And then hmm? what? No, 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 no. The CPU architect. We're, we're, we're talking. Never mind. Yeah, never mind. The, C- going, dude, going the, the AMD Jaguar CPUs were made for tablets, and they were used in these in these consoles, and they somehow got this much power out of them. Huh? Um, I guess because you have that much cooling. Just overclock the shit. <laughs> and then the other big difference is that it'll have an SSD like the PS5 and the Anaconda will. Yeah. Um, if it's easier to think about it, you could think about it as if Lockhart is the successor to the Xbox One S, and Anaconda is is the successor to the Xbox One X. Yes. So. But the question really is now is is this con- are these consoles both going to come out at the same time or is Scarlet going to or Anaconda going to come out first and then Lockhart come out like a year or two later? Because right now, effectively speaking, buying like an Xbox One X is the same thing as getting a Lockhart. It's actually better in some ways. Um, yeah. That's so six we'll teraflops. Find, we'll find out exactly. So we'll find out. Um, I th- my guess is it's going to come out later, and I hope it does do that. Because otherwise, if it comes out at the same time, I think it might get confusing to consumers. People will be like, I want the next generation Xbox for Christmas, and their mom's going to go into the store, and they're going to see two new Xboxes. <laughs> yeah, Which right. one? Oh, my Ooh. God, yeah. yeah. They're going to be like, uh, That's not good. Um, or, or, just, or just people that heard the next Xbox is out. And they go in the store and buy it themselves, but they're not a hardcore gamer. They don't keep track of the news like that, and they don't know that they're buying something that's inferior. Yeah. So hell, we'll find even, out. hell, even our even hardcore gamers don't pay attention to the news like that. Yeah, true. True gamers. Yeah. I gotta yeah. say real quick though, if you're going into a store that spend at least like three to five hundred dollars, do your research. On a console, know what the fuck yeah. you're buying, man. Exactly. Come on. Quick PSA from the boy um, <laughs> in the back. <clears throat> now get back to work. Dag. Damn. Um, the article also reads, although there are other factors that might not be clear until the console is completely finalized, such as clock speed and cooling. So it might have a different cooling solution. It might be it might be the same CPU that's in the new one, but like much more underclocked. I don't know. Um, it says Microsoft's ideal target performance is 4K60 for the Anaconda and 1440-60 for the Lockhart. Um, of course, it's only a goal, so it's up to the developers to actually fulfill that goal. Yeah. Can they make it? Who knows? And then finally, as a part of this article, um, Kotaku confirms that there's no concrete speculation on which will be more powerful, talking about the PS5 and the Scarlet, as there have been reports both ways. It appears the differences between the consoles next generation will likely come down to features, slight technical edges, and of course, the games. So, And then the other big thing is that like just before this podcast went live, 
we got some new information from uh, Windows Central. Uh, Anaconda is supposedly targeting 12 teraflops of CPU performance. So that's so by a teraflop perspective, that's times two of the Xbox One X. Yeah. But when they were talking about it during their um, the reveal video during E3, they talked about how it's supposed to have four times the power. So we'll see what actually ends up happening. I think it might just be effective power. And then it says your know, Lockhart is four teraflops, and it says it'll have 16 gigs of RAM, 13 gigs for games, three gigs for the OS. And we'll also feature an NVMe SSD, which is kind of what we already expected. Mm. So, I mean, that's that's all the Xbox stuff that's looking pretty pretty spicy. 12 teraflops of power in what's presumably a $500 console. Nice. I mean, yeah, I'm like, presumably, I'm just saying. That sounds bomb. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, that's going to be really interesting. Along with the uh, uh, Game Pass deal stuff, uh, where you can, like, you know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, Forgot all upgrade. about Upgrade. Yeah, the um, All Access Pass. Yeah, All Access Pass, so that's, that's what it's called, call it. yeah. Yeah, all yeah. that. All, it's That's all cool. working in tandem. Real I good. Know, man. They, they setting up. They setting up for yeah. sure. Let's um, see these games yeah, you know, then. They setting up on your way. Not that it's necessarily a good comparison because Stadia on launch isn't doing that great and the quality that they promised isn't that great. Um, Stadia has ten point, is supposed to have 10.7 uh, teraflops to the 12 that Anaconda is. And you know... What Google was promising was yeah. really nice. So. I mean, they can always, and they can always upgrade that really easily. Yeah. All they got to do is get upgraded GPUs for their data centers, which I mean, it's a task, but it's a lot easier than upgrading everybody's home console. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. Forget showing so. up to people's homes. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna need you uh, add some teraflops to your uh, console. <laughs> it's weird. I'm some, sorry, the what? Some of the games weren't even performing very well, <laughs> like so like from a physical perspective, which is weird. I make your I remember game hearing that some games weren't running well at all. What do you say? Even though they have he that said much he, power. He said he wanted to upgrade some terafolds. Teraflops, ma'am. <laughs> Forget like, teraflops. So if you don't tell me what that means, I'm a, I'm a terafold you. <laughs> oh, God. What'd you say about tuna flops? Tuna flops, cheap. Tuna flops. I got some tuna fish oh, in the fridge. Oh, by the way, just so anybody... Yeah, I kind of said it, but just in case anyone doesn't know, teraflops is just a measurement of, like, raw compute power that, I, that, that a computer system has. So, yeah. Yeah. Think All of right. it as, as power level. Yeah, essentially. It has 12 power levels. All right, so I'm going to nice. pass this off to Wesley because my I can hear my th- I can hear I can feel my throat hurting now. All so right, I'm going to yeah. have a I'm going to have a cough drop and I'm going to let Wesley take it away. Okay. Um <sighs> The you can debut pull that in my ear. <laughs> no no pressure. No the pressure, debut yeah. as the host. My time is finally here. What's going on, guys? Ready, he's about to fuck up in the next I know. 3 seconds. So, uh, let me go down the... No, I'm just kidding. Uh, all right, so... Resident Evil 3, uh, to start off, the remake cover uh, art has leaked through the PSN store. Uh, Nico, if you want to pull that up. Uh, oh, sure. It's um, sure. <clears throat> yeah, we had... Uh, we, we heard last week that the remake was a thing, and now we have more confirmation. And Nemesis uh, looks crazy. If anyone's curious, the reason why it says Biohazard is because that's what it's called in Japan. It's called Biohazard, not Resident Evil. Yeah. Oh, they I didn't know that. They were supposed to call it here. Like, it was, they were supposed to call it that here, too, but um, there was copyright issues, so they called it Resident mm. Evil, which is a much better name, quite frankly, because it's a lot more unique. So, 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 yeah, Nemesis looks like he's going to rip my face off yeah, and put it on his. Sure. That's what I'm about to say. <laughs> Loki, his forehead looks like Thanos' is too. Sure. Facts. Cheap. So, she, she looks like, um, what's her name? Captain Marvel? And there's a few of them, right? Uh, yeah. There's this other one <clears throat> with uh, uh, another terrifying image of Nemesis. That's to the go normal with. one. And then that's go not the next Biohazard. One. And then yeah. there's yeah. that one. one. This looks terrifying like special, like version edition. image of Nemesis. Boy, looks like he is ready. Toothpaste commercials be like. Wow. Cheese. <laughs> cheese. Oh, wow. Say cheese. Uh-huh. Um, so yeah, as he punches you in the face. So it's pretty obvious this is going to be a thing that's coming out now. So you know. so all right, me and my coworkers, we are our Resident Evil aficionados, and we don't know everything, so don't jump down our throats for this. But I think Resident Evil Three is my Jeez. least familiar. I'm either, sorry. Either. I'm mad you said. Yeah, we're uh, Resident Evil aficionados, but we don't know everything. <laughs> No, because you know there are going to be some people that are just like, I'm actually yeah, nah, the point. These, the second second of the game shows this secret. I'm like, oh, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. all right. I, I got you. It was just funny. But um, so for those for those that are familiar with Resident Evil 2 Remake with Mr. X, he walks after you. 
No. Nemesis sprints after you. Yeah. There's no cutscene where he shows up. He sometimes he'll just kind of show up. He just falls out of the sky. Yeah, he'll just kind of just random heels nonchalantly show up. He'll be like stars, stars, and then start sprinting after you. He just charges through the wall. He's like um. Oh God. Does he? Difference. Question. Does he have his uh, bazooka all the time? Yes. Or? Okay. Nice. Gotta From what I remember, rockets. he might not have it in the first encounter, but I know every encounter after that, he. He, he has he has it and oh, he's not already. afraid to shoot it you better already. carry some anti-rockets um, there and as you would probably expect he's gonna half moon strike me <laughs> oh my god um I'll explain so that in a second go to ahead to put it into perspective as you would probably expect your running speed in Resident Evil 2 remake he is he is more than double that speed no no he is I think he's bigger than Mr. X and ooh, that's a boy. I I quit big Resident boy. Evil Two. That is a boy. I'm not gonna buy Resident Evil Three. Uh, I of course I have to. Yeah. I'm obligated <clears throat> to. I think the I'm only, gonna watch you play. The only one I'm dreading to play is uh, Four Remake whenever that comes out. But God, damn it. It's a good thing I've never played one of these games, so. Oh, Kevin has I to be there when we play. <clears throat> two two is so them. scary. I, I couldn't play two. I think it's common that the third one is the least familiar with a lot of people because it's just the one that I hear least about. I always hear one and two because like, they're the originals, and then I hear four because they hear the best one. What's wrong with you and these leak figures, man? <laughs> when did I you put even, that there? I didn't even notice you did it. That's what I'm saying. Uh, Cause Cause that shit's like two and a half inches <clears throat> tall. I think it's more so that you don't hear about Resident Evil 3, but you hear about Nemesis. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Definitely. Um, well, maybe you'll hear more about Resident Evil 3 now that it'll be a lot more like, widespread. Modern. Yeah. Kevin, will you be, will you be there for the viewing party? Was it Thursday? You want to come? You to come over Thursday? I mean, I'm not doing anything. Sure, then <laughs> come over. Then viewing then before what? so Game Awards. Oh. Here, let so me check you, my schedule real quick. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's empty. Jeez. Damn, it's so empty. He doesn't even have a schedule. It's I know. Um, Man has a scroll. But <laughs> it's like this guy. So we a summoning sh- scroll. So I'm. So you should come over early, like way before the show starts. What time? And the show uh, starts at eight thirty. I think. Eight thirty, and at what address? <clears throat> no, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> at what address? In what state? In what country? No. Um, Short. But, yeah, I'm going to play Resident Evil Two. And you're gonna and you're and you're gonna be, you're gonna be there, big buddy. You're gonna be there, buddy. It's, uh, it's a good game. Big bode. Yeah, so we can. Uh, oh, we'll read the read the yeah, yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, Originally thought to be uh, revealed at the Game Awards this Thursday. Uh, however, Jeff Keeley confirmed that uh, that it was not the case. Nothing from the Game Awards has leaked as well, so yeah. they got more to show. Uh, yeah, but it's possible uh, this me- uh, means it will be revealed tomorrow morning during the State of, pl- mm-hmm. uh, State of Play. I think it's might, it might be when you see it, especially yeah. since the, those pictures leaked on the PSN store. So, uh, yeah, that's maybe true. Maybe yeah. that could be a coincidence, but we'll find out. All right, so moving on. Uh, the new Outlast game that was teased on Halloween has been announced called The Outlast Trials. And uh, it <gasps> has a. Trials. Yeah, it has a uh, um, cover art. I don't know if this is a cover art, but. It's something. It's something. <laughs> it's you, art. you can see it, it's right there for you. It's VR. Uh, so the and it's accompanied with a post. Uh, Welcome to the Outlast Trials. The Red Barrels team is excited to announce our latest project in the Outlast universe, set in the era of the Cold War. The Outlast Trials will uh, will allow players to face the horrors that await themselves, or with fellow test subjects. Test subjects. You know what it looks like okay. it looks like VR. <clears throat> it looks like VR. Yeah, Outlast. that's look, what I'm look saying. Look at the first comment. Um. Uh, first, let me finish the okay. thing. Uh, the Outlast Trials is still in production, and as our co-founder Dave, don't even try it. <laughs> Dave put puts it, uh, and this is a quote from Dave, whatever your last name is. Now we've done our pr- uh, proof of concept. It is time to focus on content creation, variety, and gore. Have, Get ready. Have goose say it. Oh, and gore. That was really good. I like that. Um, All right, and then um, yeah, look at the first. And comment. then there's a first comment that's uh, from Outlast, the author. Uh-huh. No, no, it's not. The game a is VR not VR. VR. <laughs> so so yeah, the only thing I know, I think we know so far, is that it's up to four players. So it's a co-op game. 
Koa? Mm-hmm. Outlast? Yep. What? Oh, the only way I would play this game is if I played it with another person. Oh, that's too I bad mean, I'm not playing it. It's a co-op game, so. So there you go. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. They, said, they, said, is, they said, I know it's too scary, but you can bring your friends along. That is a very solid maybe for me. All right. I wonder if it's split screen. That'd That's be fun. terrible. I that think, could kind of I, be fun. That would that would take away from the horror. For that me. would. Yeah. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, I guess it, you're right. It give it like a um a Left 4 Dead kind of feel though. I suppose, but it's not. It's not supposed to be like a. Yeah. Yeah. A jokey like zombie. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, Got a few more things. So yeah, a few more things. Uh, another week. What? Another week. Another Sony patent. My bad. Uh, this time for a telepresence system that's what? supposed to be used uh, with PSVR 2. Um, oh, PlayStation VR. And there's the patent that will pop oh, up. Pissver. There. So, this is what it looks this like. This looks like a Rotom toilet <clears throat> from Pokemon. That's true. It looks like a gyroscope, yo. What the fuck? So, yeah, read the first paragraph in the article. Oh, it explains, right. it explains uh, in the article. Hi, orchestrating the stream from the background. Thank you. Um, I told him he needs to hold my hand. Uh, so so this is the article. Like, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Hey, you need to say yeah, this. That one right there. Yeah. So, Repeat it for me. Read the article, <laughs> <laughs> <This> <laughs> the article already. Uh, so this is information about the patent itself. Yes. So the patent in question has filled... Oh, file was filed back in October uh, 2018 at the USPO, uh, USPTO, United States Patent and Trademark Office, uh, and published on no- November uh, 21st, 2019. I don't know why I read that like that, but anyway. Uh, it bears the name Actuator app- Apparatus, but after more uh, thorough inspection, it's clear that we're talking about a whole uh, VR AR system in which the actu- uh, the actuator uh, is just one part. The system uses a spherical device with a stereo camera on top of uh, oh, on top at one end and a VR headset on the other. Uh, via the sy- via this system, two parties can connect and share uh, this immersive experience. So. <coughs> Yeah, so, so it's that's like a, meaning there's you can like double VR, kinda. So, so this was my question when I when I saw when we saw this. I don't necessarily understand what it means. Yeah, like, can you repeat that again? So it definitely means something. <clears throat> it's a tracking can, system. Can you yeah. repeat the subject question? But it also again. lets you play with other like kind of it kind of like lets you experience the same thing as somebody else is experiencing in VR. Like I guess kind of like together. Yeah. But like. Oh, uh, so you're like a spectator, basically? You, no, read the second paragraph. Oh, okay. I, think, I think it actually it kind of elaborates a little bit more. All right. Uh, one user is wearing the virtual he- reality headset and gets images and sound from the cameras and microphones in the spherical system on the other and in real life. Uh, therefore, all the head movements of the headset user are transferred to the spherical system, which Im- emits, uh, imitates... Uh, them by moving the camera on the arc shaped rails that you see there that makes it look like a toilet <laughs> oh okay so I think I understand that so these two the person in the VR headset and the person with this orb aren't supposed to be in the same place then nope I no see. I guess not yeah okay uh, th- there's one more sentence my bad uh, by utilizing uh, different motion uh, modes. The system can therefore transfer emotion states. Wow. Happiness, surprise, aversion, anger, and sorrow. Mm-hmm. Cool. So, it like changes its position. I'm trying to think of like an example where this would... A practical situation yeah. where this is like, used. Yeah, like Because it's just there to yeah. imitate your head movements. Yeah. Mo-capping? Mo-capping? Hmm... I'm not sure. I'm not but sure still, what this would be. What's the point of that? Because yeah. you're, if you're mo-capping, you're, set, you're animating for models on a computer, not something you don't need to... Yeah. There's no, there's no... I don't see the point for this for gaming. I don't see what that... What for now, is. for now, I'm going to agree, but I, I would need to see <clears throat> what it is that they had in mind for this. Yeah, I could agree. I can agree with Nico. I think it could be for developers. Yeah. It's possible. We'll see what happens. Yeah, with I don't it. think if it's for devs, oh, then yeah, uh, uh, that, that actually might be problem. true. Yeah, it could, it could be for devs to see. Um, uh, they could kind of test how smooth, uh, like head movements and stuff are. Mm-hmm. Um, 
uh, so like as they're developing the game, you, yeah. doing those movements, they can actually see it in a uh, physical representation instead of in like. And they don't have the to virtual. go in game. Yeah, that might be it. Uh, Just for that though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't know. It's a lot. <clears throat> I mean, if it comes out, we'll find out. If yeah. not, it's just a patent. Patents can get not used all the time. Yeah. Yeah. I would certainly say it's just the, uh, the developer saying, I don't think this is a consumer product. Uh, so, uh, a couple things about it. Uh, also unearthed by Let's Go Digital. Oh, wait. Do we already... Oh, no, we... Never mind. Never mind. My yeah. bad. It was Let's Go Digital that discovered yeah. it. The same guys that discovered the... Uh, the PS5 okay. dev kit and the other thing we just talked about a few weeks ago with the, the cartridge. And you already went through yeah, this, went so through that. we're good. All right. We're all Gee. And the last thing's pretty big. Yeah, the last thing. Uh, Kotaku article written by Ethan Gatch. I hope I got your name right, sir. Gotcha. Um, uh-huh. uh, he does not make gotcha games. Uh, but he could. So this is, quote, 2K Games officially announced announces it's working on a new Bioshock. Mm, I already opened this article, so I don't know why I clicked it again. The rumors have been too. You need to read, like, the first three paragraphs or something? Yeah, that's what I <coughs> said. I would enjoy this. I was uh, just saying the first one, but maybe more. Wait a minute, where uh, the fuck are we? You, we'll get, you get some good details, especially stuff that Trevor All right, like so, to All right, so let's start just, off the article, yeah. Today, uh, 2K Games announced the formation of a new studio called Cloud Chamber to work on the next Bioshock, a game that is still a few years out from release, according to the publisher. Um, this is a uh, next quote. Next-gen game. Wait, what? Next-gen game, for sure, then. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, this is a quote. Uh, a collective of storytellers eager to push the front lines of interactive in- entertainment by making unique, entertaining, thoughtful experiences that engage the world. Uh, Cloud Chamber will build its team at two locations, uh, 2K San Francisco Bay Area uh, headquarters in Navado, Ca- California, as well as uh, Montreal, Quebec, uh, which marks the first ever Canadian office for 2K Studios. Uh, the company said it in a press release, quote, uh, in addition, a 2K uh, announced that Cloud Chamber has started to work on the next uh, iteration of the globally acclaimed Bioshock trans- uh, franchise, uh, we said that, which will be in, deve- in development for the next several years. So they're just announcing that like, hey, this is the thing that's happening. We're doing it. I feel like it's possible that the game has been in pre-production already, so we'll see how yeah. long it takes. That's always possible, yeah. Mm-hmm. Probably. Mm. Uh, I'll, I'll read this last one, I guess. Um, Cloud Chamber is being headed by uh, Keely Gilmore. Uh, Kelly? I Kelly Gilmore? Kelly. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Kelly Gilmore. Keely Gilmore. I said Keely. Keely. Uh, there an I in there? Previously of... Fair ex- Fair Axis games? Sure. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all enough. these all these words, man. Anyway, I uh, can't read. <clears throat> words. My job. Fair ax? That's because that's a word. I, don't worry. Show me the Fair ax. Shut Gee. the fuck up. <laughs> you chose this podcast to give me all these hard words, man. Uh, anyway, yeah, like, you what? know Wesley's illiterate. <laughs> <laughs> right, anyway, reading. uh. That's duty. Listen. Real quickly, that's studio. Oh, it actually, says it there. They make they make uh, Civilization and XCOM. Ah, ah. So yeah, uh, acquired by Two K back in two thousand five, and best known for Civilization and XCOM strategy games. While Kev uh, Levine, Ken, I said Kev. Shit. Uh, Me? <laughs> yes. Me? Uh, Ken Levine, who directed Bioshock One and Infinite isn't affiliated with the project at all. Gilmore told IGN in, a, in an email that uh, series alums... Uh, what the fuck is this, bro? Why? That's the creative director. I don't know how to say that. Hoag de la Plata. No, his name is Hoagie de la Plante. Hoagie de la Whatever, bro. I have no idea. Uh, created- Hoagie de la Plante. I think... Plantain. I think plantain. I think uh, listening to Wesley try to like sound out certain words is Cal- probably one of my favorite pastimes. This is Cal- so stupid. How Cal- <laughs> creative director? Just, just, just read the roles. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Creative How'd director on Bioshock One and Two, uh, art director on Bioshock One and uh, One and Infinite, and art 
uh, team creative director on Infinite will be working on the new game at Cloud Chamber. So even though Ken Levine's not involved, at least you have people who have made Bioshock in the past. Yes, so, so the soul can remain intact. Yes, indeed. Um, do you want me to read this last card? We're good. Uh, our team uh, believes the. We might be good. Uh, well, that's not necessary. Yeah, yeah it's just right. more like it's a closing statement. So that's it for it for that. Um, yeah. So we're getting a new Bioshock, man. I know you're a. Wow. You're gonna be hype. I have to get it. Forget help. I have to get it. I just noticed that in my documents <laughs> here, I didn't see that. Oh man. That up, so you said like the person who was involved with Infinite is not a part of this, correct? Yeah, uh, okay. the main person. <clears throat> okay, no, so it's you know, Ken Levine. We're talking Ken about. Levine. Yes. Yeah, Ken Levine, <laughs> who who is the I think is it correct creative director on one in Infinite. Yes. Uh, he's not involved. Okay, but so I, I he's hope, working on something else. I hope, yeah, we talked about that. Okay, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do not mess with with Infinite. Don't try to add on to it. Add on to it. No. Uh, I feel as like as if, if you're gonna add on to it, ask him for your blessing. Add more explosions. And before you write any script, any any animations, before you add anything, run it by him. If he goes, uh, I don't know, scrap it. Fucking adds or a tin can from. next to a trash can or something. If he's not too busy, man. Didn't Infinite take place in like the sky or something yes. compared to like the originals where we're in the underwater? Adds an or extra like plane in the sky or something. I have a feeling that they're going to do something with it because of the name of the studio, but I could be wrong. Yes. You uh, can well, reference to it. And I won't be upset. Yeah, you can have you can maybe you can have like a cameo. Cameo. I mean, does it, doesn't it seem kind of silly to do a, na- a game called Infinite Two? It's literally a, that's like a, yeah. that's a contradiction. <laughs> yeah, it, it might go off so, of what the oh, studio's name is, Cloud Chamber. Something. That's what I was saying. Like that, yeah. yeah. I mean, we'll see. Cloud. We'll see. Maybe they just want to do a similar styled game, Bioshock Chamber. but not the same story. Yeah. Alrighty, so uh, that's, uh, that's going to be for the window shopping. For the window shopping, uh, we're closing the shop. No more sales going. I can't talk to the merchants anymore, so <laughs> we gotta get. <laughs> we gotta, so, we you gotta sounded go. so sad. Gotta, Sorry, buddy. I, go. You sounded I, so sad and defeated. Oh my got, god. Don't worry, little John. We got. We gotta go home. <laughs> Hyde was your haggler, and Hyde can't speak. Exactly. Therefore, this is all you're getting. But but it's right there. I know what I, I want. It's right thing, there. You know what I'm saying. All right, we got two trailers to watch. The All hours right. have passed, and now it's time um, to go into the night and watch some movie trailers. Exactly. Um, um, can we so watch we the Boneworks two, trailer? Two, we got two movies. What? We should watch the Boneworks trailer. What's that? The VR game. Okay, we can probably do that. We have plenty of time today, I think. Um, All right, let's so, talk about VR stuff, too. Uh, That's fine. So the first okay. one we got uh, on, the, on the list, new movie with Ryan Reynolds, so the boy, called Free Guy. New movie. Uh, it's basically a movie free where the guys. free the guys. Uh, it's basically a movie where he plays a neutral GTA M- NPC, but decides to fight back and basically be- become a character. That was is, my, that, is that really what this that movie was really? about? Yeah, that was my description of the movie. But you'll see what I'm talking about. This, That's literally what it is. All right, it's pretty funny. Let's see. This is the future of AI. This was announced yesterday. This, this came out yesterday. Yeah, let's watch this. If an NPC starts taking over the game by itself, yeah, that's AI doing that. From the studio that brought to you Beauty and the Beast. Okay. You can turn it down just a bit. Okay. Turn it down just a bit. Twice. twice. Freaking twice. The fucking oh, wait, monkey. I saw this and I was like, I didn't think of anything of it. Yeah, watch this shit, man. Fire. Can you, uh, laptop oh. down a little bit? Thank you. God, he, wor- he wakes up like an AI. <laughs> All right. Ah, okay. I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah. I what you mean. I get it. you'll get it more and more as it keeps going. This is literally it. Chief. His name's Guy. Oh, uh, the TV's not muted, by the way. No. Oh. I knew I was hearing it twice. Being shot at. Run over. Wow, oh my god! Oh yeah. Today's gonna be different. Hi. God, this isn't you. You don't do this, man. Maybe I do. Yo, this is scary. What the fuck did wow. he just use? What is that? 
Shut no, up. he shot him, but he yelled oh, his glasses. So sleepy. Forget he's so sleepy. Oh. Dude, what if they made like a VR game to go with this? That'd be awesome. This is fucking. Dude, if they made this a VR game, it'd be this is like a VR thing. Oh my god, oh, it, like it has that GTA third person feel. Pick a head. Pick a whoa. What recreational drugs feel like? <laughs> Stupid. This world, it's a video game. Who's she? This is like reverse Wreck It Ralph. Yeah, man. I'm a rule breaker. I'm a rattle. This is this is fix it, damn. Oh, hey. We need you okay. to be the good guy. Wow. Is that a Glock in your pocket? No. What? Haha. <laughs> it's two Glocks. What? <laughs> Bring it all. Oh. Sick man. Shit. <laughs> I love this already. Like you know, movie. I couldn't. I couldn't see the last the part of the E, so I thought it was Freef guy. <gasps> Freaking Freef. Well, enjoy your lifetime supply of virginity. Off you go. It's a life. Yeah, I watch it. Hey, yeah, that's, that's like, pretty that close to my birthday. Of, that seems kind of funny, so I like. That. Yeah, I'll, now, I'll definitely watch that. It looks fun. I'll say this. Again. Voice of voice of reason, devil's advocate, whatever you want to call me, asshole. Um, hey, we can we can uh, we can cut Trey off the podcast right now. We don't have, we don't even have to. Technically, you were supposed to be off the podcast if I remember correctly. Hey, we don't talk about that. Oh, I talk about it. We want the part of the podcast. No, um. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You better breathe so, harder. <laughs> what I was gonna say was, this is a video game movie, and while it's not directly referencing. It's, while it's not directly based off of a video game, I think the closest one, like Hyde said, is uh, GTA. Somebody said, um, <clears throat> real quickly, sorry to interrupt you. Saints Row? Somebody Saints also Row, said yeah. this is basically, he's basically Emmett from the Lego movie. <laughs> I mean, yeah. It's, it's kind of it's 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 a similar story. Same concept, but for adults. Yeah, and it's also very different in terms of... For like, teens, the, actually, the, let me rephrase games. that. Yeah, keep going. Oh, so, good. what I'm going to say is, either it's going to be fan-freaking-tastic, which I hope it is, or it's going to be another movie like Pixels, where at yeah. best it's going to be all right, but most people are going to think it can sucks. I, considering it's Ryan Reynolds, that I have good, I have high hopes. It's going to be a comedy I movie. It's going to be. be good. It should be funny. But there's there's going to be game references for sure, definitely. And it's, the thing is, but it's not a video game movie, is what but, I would say. Well, technically, Pixels wasn't either. But but it was also a comedy movie. It all, now this I mean, looks better than Pixels. I think he's just but that's because, supposed to be the purpose of trailers. It's supposed think, to make yeah, yeah. the movie look good. I think he's just saying because Pixels, like, you saw Pixels and you immediately knew, like, oh, there's Pac-Man. <laughs> and yeah. and that I was yeah. obvious. But in here you're like, okay, is that GTA? But if you never knew what GTA was, you wouldn't know there's, there's any video game that's like that. Yeah. And a particular one. What I saw a lot, even, even though this is the first time I saw the trailer, so I haven't had time to, like, go through each and every scene and, you know, yeah. pick it apart. There are a lot of generic video game references. There was the Fortnite dance. There was a whole lot of shooting. There were bank heists. The HUD. There, there was the HUD. There was a very busy HP pack. There was a generic health pack. You know, a lot of generic reference. So I'm, so what I'm thinking is, either, either this was made by people who know who know games, and there is going to be a lot to this movie that's going to go over a lot of people's heads. But if you're a gamer, you're going to be like. I see what you did there. I think, I think Ryan Reynolds, nice. Reynolds play games. I think he's going to... Yeah, or... Ryan Reynolds. Right. Or... It's going to be... It's going to be someone who knows games. Or in, or in other words, they saw, they, saw their, they saw their nephew play a game. Therefore, they're like, I'm going to make a video game movie. It's going to be awesome. Or they play... Isn't, isn't this cool, <laughs> gamers? Or they, play Atari, they played Atari like twice when they were 20 years old and they haven't played it since. They haven't played <laughs> video games since. Jesus, exactly. calm and down. It's, and it's going to be so cheesy that it fucking sucks. Yeah, that's very Wesley. Williams. I hope that's and not I the case. Really, I really don't want that to be the case. This movie looks interesting. I want to see it. It looks funny. Please, please do not be. Please do not be what I think it's going to be. Please don't I, be pixels. As long as it's not cringy, I think it'll be enjoyable, regardless. What? Just to throw out some facts. Two days after this trailer being posted, it is number thirteen on trending on YouTube and nice. seven and a half million views, and also Black. 
it's got 209,000 likes to 7,000 dislikes. So it, it's got like a 99%. Uh, thank good. you, thank you for the quick math. Show, so, yeah. Like I said, please God. It's Ryan Reynolds, though. That's a lie. I mm-hmm. To be honest. Was he the director? Uh, no, but like he... He's, uh, he pulls a Tom Cruise. I mean, he's the reason why Deadpool, the Deadpool movies are as good as they are, yeah, really. honestly. I mean, there are other reasons why, too. Because but he, it was but meant to play Deadpool. If it wasn't Ryan Reynolds, I don't know if it would have been the same. Exactly, yeah. and not to, and not to uh, discredit him at all. Yes. Yeah. Ryan no, Reynolds. I, no, I know, your, I know what you're saying. fantastic. I understand your, your, your concern, because it definitely... Yeah, it's like, oh, it's Ryan Reynolds. Like, it. Did he write the movie? Did he direct the movie? Yeah. I because think it's just you, that I have. Because as I saw with the live action Death Note movie. He's a producer on this movie, it says. Okay. So there you go. He's he backs it. He has faith. Because what I was going to say Best was guy. with the Death Note movie, all if not most of the actors played their parts well. Gotcha. But because of how poorly the movie was written or, or directed, I don't know, I'd say at least written, the movie sucked. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, so we can move on to our next trailer. Uh, the new Wonder Woman trailer. I haven't seen this yet. They're actually. making it. Neither have I. Either. I haven't. First, uh, first word. I never yeah. knew. So first react. We're reaction a reaction channel for, now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Before. Don't want to do I'll that. I'll say the facts for this one now. Number two on trending came out yesterday with 8.4 million. Of course, it is going to get more. For Fucking sure. DC. Hello. And basically, it's Wonder Woman too. It's one of the better properties. Hey, look, doing well. Real quick, before we go get into this, man. Y'all, y'all niggas have been sleeping on on DC. Look, listen, they've been they've been making some moves. Aquaman, Wonder Woman, the first Wonder Woman. Uh, now this Wonder Woman's coming out, and I I'd assume it's gonna be crazy. Uh, I don't know. Can this Wonder Woman be oh, just uh, as uh, good uh, 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 as the Shazam? first one? Shazam, Shazam was great then too. Again. I didn't watch Shazam. So. People say Shazam was okay. It was good. I thought it was good. Shazam I thought, was, I thought, I thought I it was awesome. It. Yeah, I, I, I liked it I think it's it probably one of the maybe top two best DC yeah. universe now, movies. Now, so all I'm people saying say is... People say Aquaman is top. Aquaman is so it's good. It's funny because I've heard like... I've it's, heard both. It's so, I've heard, it's so I've heard, good. I've heard Aquaman is really good or also really bad. I have like the Blu-ray, Same. but I haven't even watched it yet. All I know is it was well filmed. I bought it, that like yo, three cinema months ago. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Aqua, Aquaman is beautiful. I thought you were going to say Aqua Force. But then of course there's the shows that aren't doing that. All right. So we can get into it. But I would say as a counterpoint to that, three movies compared to like the 10 they've come out with that weren't good. I yes, get not that. very good. I get it. But it's not very good. at least at least I'm going to be uh, skeptical. But what I'm saying is, and after this we can go into it. What I'm saying is those three movies have come out in su- uh, succession um, and they're the latest movies. So it, I feel you. That's so true. It, it looks like they're getting a handle on things. looks like they're getting better. Good production. I feel that's, that's what I'm saying. So, and all right, this, let's roll on. And this is the next one. So let's go. Let's hit the play button. I'm Nico. kind of curious what's number one on trending. Which Show trending me one of And the Hi. trailer has 372,000 likes and 11,000 dislikes. Oh, already. Insane. It took me two minutes, but I got to finish my <laughs> my fucking facts. All right. Well, all right. thank you, sir. Let's get thank into you it. for that. You're you're always needed on the I podcast. Like, Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Shut up. I said to apologize. All right, you're not needed. Fuck you. Wesley is a two sided coin. I ain't like what I do. Oh, you ain't they ain't like what I do. Turn this up a little bit. I want to hear what they're saying yeah. in this one. We all have our struggles. Have you ever been in love? A long, long time ago. <laughs> you? So many times. Yeah. All the time. <laughs> Cheap. Slut. Wow. Cheap. Oh, calm Cheap. down. That's what I'm saying. That's a joke, man. Let's slut. be honest. Hey, hey, hey. It's the yeah. 80s, bro. Now it's real. Life is good, that. But it can be better. And why shouldn't it be? All you okay. To want it. This reminds me of Stranger Things, That's bro. It's well, stupid. 80s, 80s. I, I, I get that. It's just, I, I see the Stranger Things mall, like from season three. Hey, all, eight, all these 80s scenes recently. I can save today. You can save the world. I can save the world. Stay. What? What? Honey. Hello? Let me worship you in the air like a Everyone will see what you've done. Hello? 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 Hello?
That was clean as hell. The world needs you. Dag? You know what you need to do. Oh, that's cool. Wait, where's she? Where? Wait a minute, what? That must have been on Themyscira. Yeah, Themyscira, yeah. This is not what you think. This is a very different tone from the first movie. Yes, I like it's I very different. Wow! Hey, those drones, okay. Is she? She's. A, on, is that Hawk Girl? Wait a minute, hold on. No. Whoa! Wait a minute. Wait, no, wait, wait, no, wait, wait, couldn't wait. have been. No. It's all art. Was she swinging on lightning? Yeah, she was. Yes. Uh, that's just a trash can. It's just a trash can. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Whoa, wait, 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 go back. This summer's about to be nice. Go back. That's true. Was that, that was, no, <laughs> no. That wasn't a hot girl, right? No, it was not hot girl. It was, it was her, but like, nah. why is she wearing? Uh -huh. That's not hot girl, no. Nah. No. Nah. That's, that's her, yeah. yeah. No, that's Wonder Woman. Yeah. Yeah, that's Wonder Woman. Yeah. Yeah. New armor, who this? Hot girl that's looks different. That's what I'm saying. So, all right. It, <laughs> stop. <laughs> so, so, what doesn't, the hell? it doesn't really need to be said. This movie looked clean as hell. Yeah. It's like, it's like, like Wesley said, it's a completely different tone from the first one, like entirely. Yeah. But it, knowing the last movie and knowing what I'm seeing here, I'm still going to watch this thing. It looks great. I need to know what's going on here. Why is Chris Pine? Why, is she, why does she look like Hulk hot, hot Girl? I think that's just you, bro. Probably because of the wings. <laughs> but like, she has the armor too. So I don't know who this character is. Let me look this up. I got to say, I like, Oops. we didn't get much basically of anything, a story. At least, yeah. Just from watching it, yeah. Other than which is good, honestly, Chris we Pine. know who the bad guy is and who's the ally. Familiar with That's shit. Um, who's the good guy? But they just Her. showed off a lot of cool action moments and stuff, which of course is what one of the things that sells the movie. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> kind of does. I mean, like it's it's hinting at that at least. Yeah, that's what it looks like. So I'm I'm kind of. And I I know Diana and um I forget her real name. Hawk Girl were good friends in the DC universe. Like they're good friends. So I'm I'm. <laughs> Wonder if she was gonna make yeah. an appearance or something, but uh, just like the first movie, yeah, this movie looked clean. Movie looked spick and span. Was go back one. Go back. Go back. Uh, back. 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 One more. Uh, Sh Shayara. That's what it is. And boop. right. <laughs> All right. Look at that. That looks so good. All right, but definitely, uh, those two movies are definitely on the list. I didn't even know they. <clears throat> I didn't even know they had this. Uh, DC on their website has a whole thing where you can look at every character on uh, in like comics in their comics. Mm, I just, I'd assume they'd have something like that. This movie looked nasty. It looked good. <laughs> Disgusting. I'm interesting. So nasty. let's watch this other trailer that uh, that Kevin wanted to watch real quickly. Uh, yeah, we. Oh yeah, that's right. There's a new Ghostbusters thing. Do you guys uh, want to watch that too? That's no. Number, that's what's apparently number one. it's apparently it's pretty good. That's why it's really? number one. Three three point one million views if, in eight hours. Does it have listen, the girls? Listen, or no, is no. It? let's watch that. Let's listen, watch that. Hold on, let's watch that. Listen, the first Free movie. The guys. Break breaking news. The the girls one was not what re, was, uh, well received, but Greg Miller is freaking out about this apparently. So okay, let's watch it. So yeah, Ghostbusters. Uh, this is like dubbed the app. hot off the pan, man. The old bust ghosters. Let's see how eight this hours. Is. It's been steaming for eight bustin', hours. Bustin', bustin', Got a good light ratio. Like the other ones. Wait, more Stranger Things. I mean, you already know all those Finn actors. Finn Wolfhard. That's left in our name. We're popular after doing this show. I mean, obviously. My grandfather left us in the middle of nowhere. Why'd you bring me up here? Where's she from? <laughs> what is that? Is this Ghostbusters for kids? It's a bitch. <laughs> Forget Braun. No fault lines, no it's like fret, Bill. no loud music. Oh, it's that guy. Yeah. Um, what's his name? Paul Rudd, I think. Yeah. Under the dining table now. That table, yeah, like, is not very stable. Table. 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 It's not gonna protect you from anything. What? Is, where, where do I know I her from? Stranger Things. No. no. Just all Stranger oh, Things. I don't remember. Oh, where do I know her? From? A ghost trap? Oh yeah, this is um, this is supposed to be like yeah, years like later. In Thirty years. Thirty years, like you said. New yeah. York in the eighties. It's like The Walking Dead. <laughs> Your dad never mentioned this to you. It's just my mom. So this takes place just about like my grandfather died. Present time. 
My mom says we're just here to pick through the rubble of his life. Oh, this is the same storyline, but yeah. yeah. Who are you? Real stay. Yo, <laughs> shut up. Uh, call it fate. Call it luck. Call it karma. I believe that. Yo, that kid. What the hell? Come on, darling. The yeah. There it is. It has a gunner seat? You damn scrupulous. That car would have broke down, by the way. That's an interesting. Oh. That looks a lot better than the other one. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, Forget that one, dude. That one was it, shit. It has, I won't even finish the one. I hope it has like the same charm as Ghostbusters, because sometimes people like forget that Ghostbusters is like a comedy first, and then it was like yeah. ghost fighting stuff. And um, you really can't do movies like Ghostbusters nowadays as a comedy. It's hard. You yeah. can't but, do it. Let's see. I mean, like it looks cool because it's kind of like a. This is the same. Same universe, story, but it's thirty years later. Things are different. You know these characters aren't the same. I like that Paul Rudd is in it. Um, yeah. Oh yeah. By it, the uh, okay. if you, I don't know if you guys okay. remember, but during the other one, or when they announced the other one, they they weren't on the same page about what they were even doing. Yeah. Because the other one was supposed to be a different story. It wasn't the same story, same universe. But the first trailer, as you might recall, maybe it was the second trailer, started off with uh, something years ago, four friends saved the universe, and everyone was like, but this isn't the same universe. Why are you mentioning that? And then they fixed it. They changed the trailer. That's <laughs> crazy. Absolute oh fools. Oh, my God. Yeah, I love um, that, yeah. I just, I just realized there's a lot of... Uh, uh, movie trailers going out. There's also Jum Jumanji 2. Do you guys oh, yeah. see the first one? I no, did. I, 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 I enjoyed it. It was really funny. Talking, it was good yeah, comedy. We're, we're good, talking about the new basically. one, not, yeah, not the yeah. original, by the way. Yeah, because I was... Uh, I went to go see it with uh, one of my uh, god sisters. Yeah, I heard it was pretty mm -hmm. good. Yeah, and I wasn't going to see it otherwise because I wasn't yeah. really interested in it. And I had no expectations for this movie and I actually enjoyed it. Like, it was really funny. Yeah, yeah like, it was hilarious. The way they, they meshed together. I mean, you like, put The Rock and Kevin Hart in there. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, now they're the dynamic duo. No, exactly. Right. Literally. The camera on me. So, yeah, J oh, Jumanji, Jumanji 2 is a thing now. So Yeah, but yeah, in the, in the first one, not the original, the first one with the new, uh, it's more recent. Yeah. The one that came out in 2018. Yeah, the one... Yeah, it came out... Because I saw it I saw it January 2018. Um, The way they mashed together, like, like re, uh, reality and then, like, video game elements. Yeah. Like, especially towards the end of the movie, if I remember correctly. Um, Like, that, it's just fun to watch. Yeah, it was really funny so, and just enjoyable. Yeah, I'm excited to see what this new one has to offer. Um, Alrighty. They, uh... <laughs> I, I, um, I'm subscribed to uh, Jack Black's YouTube channel, mm -hmm. and on Thanksgiving or around Thanksgiving, he posted a video I where, the, he's where too. the four, yeah. the, the, yeah, he's four the, girl. the four main actors were like sitting down at Thanksgiving doing like a comedy bit for a few minutes. It was pretty funny. That's pretty. So that's funny. on mm -hmm. his YouTube channel. Um, another interesting thing is that actually the Jumanji Two is actually being premiered this Thursday. If you go to a theater that has it, you can watch the Game Awards and then watch Jumanji 2 right afterwards. Oh, really? That's <laughs> the thing that they're That's doing. really cool. There's actually like a partnership they have. Huh. Like they might even show like a trailer at the Game Awards. We'll see. Cool. Maybe All right. Or maybe, some, maybe they'll even have some like indie game or something they'll announce. I don't know. So our big news <clears throat> section has nothing in it, but we are going to uh, rename it, calling it The Payload. How if you want to explain to the viewers why we chose that name. Because uh, we didn't have a name, that's why. Wait, no, no, you gave an actual. Jeez. Oh, what, 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 the actual <laughs> payload means? No, yeah. no, he gave a reference. You gave I mean, it, he like, gave it a reference. It? I'm like, well, right? we didn't have a name for no. it. No. It was, was just a reference. about where it comes from. No, it's talking about like a network payload. Like Stop a, what? talking over each other. No. Everybody, one, two, continue, three. No, continue. come on. It's fine. I, it was. We're joking, it's fine. Um. It was yeah, just we're talking about like a, like a payload, like either what you would consider a payload in a, in a piece of malware that would drop like the actual payload of you know ma the malware itself Nerd. Yes. when you uh, hey, man, get off this podcast man. this is called the black market it's based off of like the dark web the <laughs> dark exactly. art um 
No, and then there's the and then there's the fact that like most of the payloads are like network packets. Hey, but don't be deceived. We ain't selling you fake news. It's just a package. <laughs> Honestly, the only big news I could think of is uh, Boneworks is coming out tomorrow. Oof. Yeah, I'm gonna be playing that. In so VR. what is that exactly? It's a VR game that introduces like new elements, right? So like originally VR games, right? You will always lose your um, what is it called? Your interaction or whatever it was called. Because, like, your hands would always, like, phase through things. Your body would phase oh, through yeah. things, right? Right? So, like, over the years, they added arms to make you feel better. But then the arms would always phase through each other, right? In Boneworks, everything... It's a physics game. You could interact with everything. Like, they create a whole body with for you. So, you could, like, breach a door with your shoulder. Instead oh. of having to interact with the door and, like, push it open. Oh, that's cool. Like, if you want to watch the trailer, we can watch it. We can watch it and cut it out of the episode if we want no, we have just plenty of time. Just keep right. going. We're almost to the news blast, which is the last thing. Yeah. So do we want to watch it or not? Yeah, Let's we can watch, watch it. it. Yeah. That's it's nice. Bone Works. One word. <clears throat> it's created by um, Brandon, who used to work with uh, yeah. Freddie W. Oh, that's Rocket Freddy Jump Bone. with all those guys. Oh, okay. All right. That is so six like the Rocket Jump. Like this he is... created his own um, game studio now. This is six and a half minutes. Let's, I don't. Let's at least watch some of it. You want the sound on? Yeah, you can turn it on. Let's watch some of it. I can describe the game to you. A little bit, like but like, well, according to the developer, oh, you're, oh yeah, we did see this. Yeah, you're playing it. Where did we? I don't remember where we. Where, we, we watched this somewhere. Whoa. November eighth, we got released. Right, you cool. see like that yeah. interaction, right? I think we briefly discussed this after we watched the Alex trailer, didn't we? Or maybe I. No, I don't know. No, I don't think so. I should have been on that. Did act. we show this one? Like yeah, that? we should have had you on. Now, we look, you could jump. Whoa. Now, what happens when you. Whoa. Now, okay, my question is what happens if you were to go to a wall and try to bash your head into it? Would you go through the wall? You wouldn't go through the wall. Granted, you lose your, like, experience from that. But other than that, this is a physics game. This is supposed to make you feel like you're in the game physically. So you wouldn't do stuff like that. So what's the actual premise of the game? Is it just kind of like a sandbox or? So a apparently, well, that's a, you're a debugger, yo. right? So like this whole thing is a big company that created a VR system meant to replace life, kind of, right? And you're going in to debug something. Something's wrong with the game, and like you're just trying to figure it out. Oh, this is cool. But as as we go on, we're gonna we're gonna see like the enemies. So the concept is you're in a. Uh, I would book a lot easier. I it was like the, the trash can. You as the player are in a real space, but through the headset you're using, um, in real life as the character, you're seeing the game that you see mm -hmm. as, as the real person playing the game, which is confusing. Don't even think about it. But, <laughs> it really is confusing, but like <laughs> this game is so good. If you like, know what I'm saying, it has that half-life feel to it too. Yeah, you know? I, I see what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what the heck? It, you? it has yeah, half-life. Alex. He's adorable. Has some similar interactions. Oh, oh all right. It squeaked. You, you heard that? It squeaked. Excuse me. This game looks pretty good, actually. Yeah. Let's get a cinder Forget. Block. Objects have weight to it, too. So that oh. cinder block, if he would actually pick it up, he would actually struggle with it. Wow. Now, of course, there's no How artificial weight in, there, in your controls. Gee, we are actually not sure on the price of the game yet, nor how long it's got to be the actual before. gameplay will be. When does it yeah, come I'd out? say for it comes out tomorrow. And we don't know what it costs. Really? We don't know what it costs or how click, long already. Click the link for it. Let's see if it says anything now. That's us. I said. I, oh, I, wait, wait, wait. I want to see this. I want to see this. I want to see this. I said. Boop. Gee. Missed the head, but he's still there. Ready? He's gonna chuck it. No! Well, that didn't work very well. This is not working. It's because Nico's laptop's not very fast. Sorry, Chief. Needs a SSD, that's what it needs. Oh! He needs a better processor. I had that too, but SSD would help. Oh. Oh, a gun. Here we go. Finally. Ooh. The sound quality yeah, of this wow. game, too, is, is any, so good. Is it exclusive to any headset or is it available for anything? I believe it's available for everything, but they the they recommended playing on the Steam. Oh, index. I see what yeah, you're, you're what talking about with, with, with the with weight. With the weight, yeah. right? Whoa! Holy, Holy what the hell? Yeah, there's no release date on Steam. Yikes! You mean there's no price? Price. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm about to say the release date is right there. Dude. Like when I first saw this, I was so hyped because they they've only been developing it and only showing like bits and pieces of it. 
Ooh. Uh, still happy. Oh, oh. What the hell? See, you hear that? Yeah, it's... They have wow, everything down. it's very down. realistic. Oh. It's very realistic. To the sound of the guns, to the bullets dropping on the floor after you're firing. The shells, yeah. Freaking... <laughs> Yeah. What the hell is he doing? Light. So apparently those are like corrupted people. I'm not sure. Corrupted AI, I would say. NPCs of some sort. Yeah. And there's these like little crabs. It's like little VR oh, head yes, crabs like that jump on them. Yeah, I think that's... Okay. Now it's too much like Half-Life. They got crabs so go on your head. Cheap. I'm not sure if you're gonna see the VR crabs or not. But like... Oh. Here you go. You Push. might. Push. Bow. Stops. Why? Forget. It's like not E. Drop it lower, man. It's like my favorite thing about, um, about VR is like... Head reactions and stuff like that. <laughs> It's so it show, funny, like... Like, you would think it doesn't show anything, but it shows so much emotion. It does. Because, like, I remember playing, um, uh, uh, No Man's Sky, and, like, looking around doing stuff, and, and just using my head, f uh, to, like... You always tilt your head when you tilt, don't know what's wrong, yeah, kind of like, lean forward when you're angry or something. Uh, nice! Gee. Wow! Yo, I'd be boxing with everybody. Yeah. This is cool. I'd be boxing with everybody. Watch me. You want to get in uh, Blades and Sorcery? You can punch people in that game. Yeah, that game is really good too. Doesn't look as good as this though. It is not. Yo, that stereo. Oh my god. Well, where did you get that from, my guy? He had that from the beginning. Yeah, yeah, he. Uh... Oh. Nice. Whoa. That's cool. Oh my god. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Of course, it's a video game, so that's not gonna hurt as much. I don't know where that guy came from, to be honest. So, the one thing I noticed is that Wait, bullets are going through the crate. Yeah. So you need to find actual hard cover, or else you're gonna get shot. This looks dope. This looks really cool. And then here comes the release date. Cheap. I was uh, like, oh, these are the head crabs I was talking about. Okay. So they're like low VR headsets that are trying to jump on you and take over That's you. That's sick. And the funny thing is, if you have no weapon, you could use your head. You could grab them out of the air and just bash your head on it. Yeah. That's sick. Nothing like that. Neck injury. All right. Cool. That was all six minutes? Yeah, that no, didn't right? feel like six minutes. Six minutes? And I feel like I learned a lot. so good. All right, so that's clean. I feel like I learned a lot. All right. Now we're going to jump into the news blast, and Trey's going to take this one. Hey, uh, Trey, how you doing? I can stop hurting myself. Hello. Um, been quiet over there. I'm hurting myself. <laughs> My voice is... So what's your thinking, Nico? So how's that smoking life going for you? Uh, it's I'll terrible. I'll talk about the last three, Trey. <laughs> I haven't smoked a day so you in my life. you talk about the last three? <laughs> yeah. Yo, that uh, was so somber, see. man. Is like, that secondhand smoking? <laughs> let's get to the Verge article. All right, I got you. I could, I could feel the regret in your voice. All right. So there's the... Don't smoke, kids. You know, there's the news blast. You want to sound like that? True, don't smoke. About to breathe through Especially these. cigarettes. So I'm about to breeze through these. If anyone has comments, just give them, just give them quick and easy. Unless you, unless you really hype about something. Ready? We're gonna about, we're about to go yay and nay. <laughs> for everything. Yay. If any of you nay this, oh, oh. Uh, you better Eddie. hope, the, you better hope the cameras don't turn off. Um, <laughs> all right. The table. First, all right. First one, Persona Five Royal is coming out in the West on March 31st, 2020. You already know. Yeah. That, that's the way I want to play it. I've been yeah. waiting. Ooh. I thought about buying it sooner, but I figured I'll wait till that comes out. Cause oh. it's, it's gonna have more content, isn't it? Never played. It, it, yeah, it's pretty much going to be like the a uh, golden Persona Five. Yeah, Persona Five Golden or Persona yeah. Five Point Five. It's gonna be all. It's also supposed to have any any of the DLC that came out for the game in Japan is gonna be free for us when it comes out. Yeah, oh, really? so like you can. Oh. So like you, I'm pretty sure it's like you can have uh, Narukami's Persona. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. But, yeah, I can't remember either. But seeing that with Persona 5's graphics, whoo! I think they all look clean. Not damn good. All yeah. right, next. <clears throat> As we briefly talked about last week, Blue, yeah, Blue Point Games is working on something new, speculated to to be a uh, remake of 2009's 
Demon souls. Demon's souls. Demon's souls. Demon's souls. I'm Demon going souls. to spike you next time you correct me on that. <laughs> Yikes. Demon souls. That name is terrible. We, we covered it. It's yeah, demon souls. So, you know, the interview with uh, seg- segment next president of the studio. Uh, he said, there's no question in our minds that our current project will become the next achievement we're most proud of. We're most proud of. So you something know. like the Dark Souls series. Hmm. We don't know <clears throat> if that's what they're doing. Um, that's just the that's just the speculation. So we're saying like Dark Souls like it yeah. could be. The last thing they did was they remade uh, Shadow of the Colossus. As long as they have dodge rolling, there you go. That's really all. It and takes. Evan, have you played Demon Souls? No, I, I have not. It Even though a, it's the first one, I have only, not. It was only on PS3, I think. Played Demon Souls. Yeah, I haven't huh. played. E- uh, I haven't completed Dark Souls one even. Yikes. Which is a funny thing, but in my opinion, Dark Souls three is technically all you really need because I mean, it combines it, it everything. Looks like it. it looks like it looks like it that that that, uh, we don't, that way to me. Well, we'll see what's up. I don't know why. We'll Keep see what's up. blasting away. All right, away. blasting away. Bang bang bang. It appears that remasters of Platinum Games' uh, Bayonetta and Vanquish, pretty sure we talked about that last week, are coming to current gen consoles on no, February eighteenth. We might have seen some some something leak or something, but this is like now it looks looks pretty obvious. Yeah, I seem to remember the uh, the name Vanquish, even though I don't remember like playing it at all. Uh, anyway, disregard the next one. There is official word now. Today I, there was a there was an announcement. Oh, okay, uh, the games will run on f- at four K sixty FPS at least on the Xbox One X or the Xbox, um, and it appears that there will be a tenth anniversary bundle with both games together. Cool. Hmm. You know, so if you're interested in that, two for one deal. Copped out. Did Pretty copped out. Do you have any idea how much that'll be? Will it be like the full sixty for like both? Or uh, like? you know, I can look it up because it, now it's now it's official. Let me see. A bundle for both. Uh. I know, actually, Major Nelson tweeted about it earlier. I got a feeling it's going to be like is, 70. Here it is, pre-order. Nah. Um, oh, it comes with a Steelbook bundle if you get it physically. Oh, nice. That's got to be cool. Apparently, Vanquish is like really underrated. People what is Vanquish? Talk about it. It's like a... I remember saying that. It sounds like an RPG game. <laughs> no, no, it's like a... It's like a... It's like... I mean, you know, do you know what Bayonetta is? Yeah, I know it's what Bayonetta is. It's similar to that, but it's more like futuristic mecha-looking kind of stuff going on there. Um, if you look up Vanquish, it, it was on it was on last generation, and it hasn't been re-released. Boston Martin Vanquish. Um, I've heard it was pretty. I've heard it was pretty good, and I haven't oh. played it. Five dollars. I actually, humble. yeah, I have it. I have it for free from uh, huh. Xbox Live huh. Gold. Huh. Well, let me see what this is. All right. So you Moving can... off. Blast away. All right. Next. Yeah, bang, bang. I'll get you that price in a second. So for those of you people that are playing Death Stranding, an update will be coming <sighs> out cool. later this month, and it will include, you're going to have to help me on this one, the ability to see your o- o- Odra deck. Odra deck, yeah. Okay, that's, Odra that's deck. That's a little flapping thing on your shoulder. Oh, All right. that, okay. Yeah, so you can see your oh. Odra deck through any cargo you're carrying for, you know, improved, improved clarity. The bundle is only $40. Only oh, forty dollars, wow. even physically. Okay. Even physically, and you get that. Little, and it's a steel what, book. That steel book with it. Steel right? book, Bayonetta, and Vanquish. Yep. Remastered. For, remastered for forty bucks. Dang. Sounds so like free. a good deal to me. Good. Um. Oh yeah. Next, it'll give you an option to increase the UI text and the ability to remove other players' vehicles from your world in case in case they're in a bad spot or blocking something entirely. Something. Other uh, players' entirely. vehicle. Wait, that game's <coughs> yeah, multiplayer. Yeah. So. Yeah, Death Stranding is like a. Yeah, technically. It's, really? It's like a. It's a. What would, what do they describe it? Uh, as? Open world. Instance. Well, it's open no. world, but it's not. That's not what it's it. Same so, instance. So nobody, like nobody, that. you ever, you never see another player, but they all, they, you, there are the people who are with living within the same world, the world as you, and they'll, they can build structures and do thing and do things in the world that help each other out. Like you know how Dark Souls, where people can be like, hey, don't do that. Oh, <laughs> that shit's gonna kill yeah. you. <laughs> but like times ten, like there's more yeah, to do in this game. Yeah, a lot more. Yeah. And so but more trolly. So, so, so a few things. There's. Uh, they point off a cliff the and they go like, deck, yo, treasure that way. <laughs> yeah, the Odra deck was a problem because you couldn't see it through. So if you had a lot of cargo on your back and it went over your like your head, you couldn't see your Odra deck when it was like when you were near BTs and it was trying to tell you what's nearby. Um, you couldn't see it very well. It's like you turn your camera around. Um, so now they, you can see that through, this, uh, through the thing. So Te- spice of life things, basically. The text the is apparently too small. I, I, I can understand that. So yeah. people, people, they're giving them the option to bring, make I mean, it bigger. You're playing on this and, piece right here, right? Yeah, exactly. And then the, uh, yeah, there's so there's like vehicles in the world. And 
but at some point you get like to trucks like like you know like yeah, atv large, style yeah. like you know or like jeep style they get trucks. stuck in ravines and people people can either lose them in bad places or they can put them there on purpose to troll others so <laughs> you have the ability to actually remove them from the game like like a guess one like a single vehicle from the game if it's bothering you oh, okay. or getting in the way nice. right, keep going. sounds good sounds good sounds good all right next this is very this is odd but also cool um, so Lucasfilm and Epic Games will be showing off an exclusive clip from Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker in, Fort- in Fortnite's Risky Reels location. Really? Yeah. That's so weird. I mean, it's kind of like how they had the concert and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, the Marshmallow concert. Yeah. yeah that's there. cool, but like... It was really dope. Why Star Wars? I didn't know that was a thing. That's so weird. You no, didn't they, see that? They have a... Um, yeah, they put, a, they put a Stormtrooper in the game. Nico's looking that up right now. Oh, yeah, I did see so this. So they yeah. do have a partnership going on there. Makes sense. I mean, hey, that's I bad mean, luck. I mean, Disney and Epic. I mean, I really this already, is a weird, weird they collaboration. Are, they, are, they already had a uh, collaboration because you had the Marvel. Yeah, uh, Marvel. With yeah, the with whole Thanos, Thanos thing yeah. going on there. Oh, for a you're while. right. Yeah. Uh, Funny thing is, the game's dying. You know that Fortnite's yeah. finally yes, dying. Yes, everyone knows. Yeah. Well, what, what do you mean by dying? They're losing players. Like players. Fast. Like. Yeah, like the the uh, chapter two didn't do anything to keep it like alive. People didn't find it entertaining enough, yeah. I would say. Basically, Probably. the whole internet just saw it and like laughed at it and then moved on. They saw oh, like, ah, oh, that's neat. It might Moving have, on. It might have refueled for like a day or two, but that's it. Okay. Um. Oh, but to watch, be in the building around two p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Saturday, December fourteenth, and. Yes. You know, for those who don't know. So, if you're listening to this when it comes out tomorrow. Oh, okay. Yeah. And uh, just to let you know, The Rise of Skywalker comes out December 20th. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's approaching fast. Like, I actually, oh, like, I'm like, oh, shit. Oh, 11 days. Just to reiterate, yeah, it's the Risky Reels location. Yeah. yeah. Just So, yeah. if Risky I want to watch. If I remember PM, that, it's the one with, like, the car. I, mean, I don't know. I don't know what the new map is like, so I have no idea. I believe now. it was, like, um, like a drive-in movie theater that makes sense that would make sense yeah both for what's being revealed and the fact that it's called right. reels. they're probably going to do the same thing as they did in the concert it's going to be peaceful settings no nothing like that no All trolling right. so they can't build over the screen either gee man <laughs> <laughs> nice stupid alright All right. go ahead alright so next is Warfra- Warframe is apparently announcing something quote special at the game awards this Thursday special in quotes dude Warframe is moving bro I, I don't know what that game yeah, is. Yeah, they're ma- they're making moves and like I don't know what it is now. I remember playing it very early, right? Very, very early. It's and it was like now, yeah. it was a standard like hack and slash game. Yeah, same for RPG like and now it's like what? It's, it's open it's, world now, it, right? Yeah. We didn't even see like no, we haven't seen nothing. You and I when we started playing, that was even long after that what yeah. Kevin's talking about. That like yeah. they, there was a they, this game started years ago. Like holy shit. Uh, I figured out it. that that game's number four on my all-time playlist on Steam. Really? Or really? Yeah, yeah played we played that. a lot. Yeah, you guys me, played it that much. Yeah, me, me Hi, Nico, back and like Denzel. The only thing our computer could and, computers yeah, and, and I joined. Yeah, I joined. So I can see that. Every, once in a while, yeah, we played it a ton. I remember you know? only doing like the two same things. In I remember game. playing I remember it a shit, lot. But I, I have 59 hours in that game. It's my fourth most. Let me played. see what I do. Behind Rocket League at like 1600. Uh, and then Risk of Rain 2 and one other game. Wait, your Risk of Rain up there? Yeah, because I, when I was playing that game, I get into like a five-hour session. Yeah. I get fucking OP. <laughs> yeah. How, how long is Enter the, how long, like, have you played Enter the Gungeon? Because I Enter thought that Gu- would be up there. It's not, up, believe it's not, it's like 20-some hours on that game, I think. Let me check. Hmm. Hey, brain. Let me see how much I, I did. Where can I check? This? Yeah, jeez. You know, I spent <clears throat> I spent 157 hours on Warframe. Uh oh yeah, No Man's Sky is at Are you on your profile? Hours. Yeah. Uh. Oh no. Sorry. My my top is Rocket League. For Warframe. Yeah, I I did 157 hours. Yeah, I only got 28 hours at Enter the Gungeon. I got to check mine. Hmm. Actually, I can check mine right now cuz you're using the app and I can use the app. I have the app. I still have, I have one back app. banner. How much account? is your Rocket League? I can whisper with Nico. Nico. Oh, it's exactly at 1600 actually. Wow. 1600? Yeah. Nice. Uh, my Rocket League is at uh, 228. Are we going through like top five games most played here? 
No, we're good. I was just, just my kidding. my top game. You guys are never gonna hear this ever. It's called Realm of the Mad God. I I, I remember if you. I up, if I had time to think about it, I, I remember seeing that. you play it. Yeah, I it's remember you playing on. I have 143 hours on a Warframe. Yes, Jesus. Yeah, so Damn, my number two is Counter Strike. Yeah. That doesn't surprise. Not surprised. Me. Not surprised. Number three is PUBG. I already know half of the time on Warframe. Him number just waiting in the ship. Number four is Terraria. Number two for me is Gary's Mod. Really? Yeah. Jeez. How many Sorry. hours? Thirty-nine. Thir- oh, <laughs> I, I remember that. Yeah, we we played it a lot. Yeah. Can, can we with? hop on in there, yo? Let's th- play some shit, man. It's when I had a server back then. It was. Yeah, it was. Right. Right? Those it's two hard, games. It's hard games. to start a server. I sw- on no, Wesley never joined the. Day Those two server. games were games no. where. Because uh, I, I I only have I only have uh six point eight hours on Gears. Yeah, it's when I had a server. I had a server and we were playing Melon Bomber. We were playing Melon Bomber. Um, was it Murder? All right. There's. We will kind of stay away from TTT because we never had enough people. All right, so. we we should move on. Yeah. <laughs> Real right. quick, I was watching uh, Achievement Hunter play one. I don't know if this is new. Probably not. But it's essentially where um, TFT is my number five. So one person one person starts off as an explosive barrel, and everyone else starts off with people with pistols, and Prop the on. barrel's job it's is essentially infection, where your job as the barrel obviously is to explode and kill people. Whoever you kill oh. becomes a barrel like you, and if I, these, if I the, remember this game. If, yeah, mode. if the survivors oh can, God. if the survivors can last a certain period of time, then they win. But obviously, if the barrels kill all of the survivors, then the barrels win. It was like reverse prop hunt. <laughs> the prop hunt was hilarious. I just wanted to say my my number three is already Destiny two. <laughs> With how many hours? Thirty four. Thirty four. Only wow. thirty four. And that's only since it's been on Steam on PC. I might have had Kevin's. Met- Camera messed up for a minute. That's fine. Sure. Um, All right. Let's yeah. uh, move on here. I had a thousand hours. Holy shit. All right. All right. Next being article titled Razor CEO berated and threatened his staff, former employees say. Dag. Mm. Yeah. Apparently the Razor CEO is an asshole. Um, I'll really? just, I'll read that for you because honestly, I, I put this in there because. Um, While you're doing that, I'm going to get familiar with the next one. I haven't read the. I haven't, oh no! Yeah, you're good. You're, I haven't you're read enough. the actual article yet. I just uh, I put that in there because it's pretty big. It's a pretty big thing. Um, this is coming from Kotaku, the one girl Cecilia who who uh, who also covered the big Riot game story with all the sexual problems going on there. Yeah, um, which was crazy. Number, She's just digging into everybody's an, business. Another, another uh, yeah. It, I mean, it's investigative journalism. That's what Go to that's four. what they do. I feel like Kotaku does that more than anybody nowadays. It's crazy. Um, Equal rights. Yeah. So. But like if that if that's not interesting to you, you can go go ahead and check it out. It's on Kotaka's website. Okay. That was very wholesome how you said that. It's on so what is like? You know I like this. Like hype. he's just a dick to every employee or something. Kind of like that. Stay sick. I want to work at a Razor store, low key. Well, Stay sick. Never get better. You can work at a store, but I wouldn't work at the company. Alrighty. All right, go ahead, Trey. Uh, Nico's. I'm doing. I'm finishing three. it off. Oh okay. Alrighty. Alrighty, boys. Finish me off. No. Yo, how much time do we have? Are we at? This is the Nutbuster come for us. We got a. Uh... Yes, we're good. We're, good. We got, we're on time. Pretty good. Um, for once. All right. Are we? Uh, we have a discussion yeah. topic. A Verge article written by Tom Warren, titled "Minecraft is finally getting PS4 crossplay support," which is nice. Cause, Nani? as I will read, the Bedrock Edition update will be available on PS4 on December 10th, two days from the re- uh. Two, two days ago, as of the release of this podcast, if you're watching this on Friday. Um, so, ever since uh, Microsoft obtained Minecraft, they created the Bedrock Edition, which mm-hmm. is what's on Windows 10 and Xbox and whatnot. Yes. Um, and so that's finally now, like, officially going the PS4, which allows for the cross-play between, as I will read here, Minecraft on the PS4 is finally getting updated to the Unified Bedrock Edition on December 10th. The new update will enable cross-play, cross, cross-platform play between the Xbox One, Windows 10 PCs, Nintendo Switch, iOS, Android Gear, VR, and now PS4. Minecraft players on the PS4 will also get access to all their purchases and progress, and the update will be free of charge. So, awesome oh, sauce. There. Nice. Um, fun fact, the I heard that. Minecraft versions Is that on yours? 360, that was yours, yeah. PS3... Vita and a number of other places have actually aren't, aren't even supported anymore. If you, I don't know if you guys knew that. Jeez. They don't get updates. Yeah. Uh, all Feels right. Bad. Next thing. But it's been, I mean, most of those consoles are obsolete anyway. A video game charts article written by William D'Angelo. Uh, titled. about him a lot. 
Halo, the Master Chief Collection, tops one million sold. Wow. Not That's surprised. Sales. Yeah, Already. don't, wow. don't underestimate the Halo. Yeah, dude, it, it, was, like, it, was, like, no, it was in the top games played on the first day it came out. Halo is such an Steam. OG game. It will be remembered in the history books. Quote, the game had the third biggest Steam launch of 2019 via concurrent users with 161,000 peak users. What was the top? Steam like um, I understand. That's a good question. I understand okay, that that would, that would be like it would be popular, honestly, but wow, one it's million good to sold. Know that people still love Halo, yeah. even if they don't like you know. Because Halo was such a unique game. It, it was is. like it, it was the is. consoles G mod. I guess yeah, in some way, especially when Forge came out with three and Reach. It's one of it's one of if not the biggest game that was the biggest selling point for Xbox in general. Yeah, it's yeah. like... Dra- it's Everybody like th- will always remember. It's like the Dragon Ball Z of uh, video games. That's uh, why it's, I mean, it's pretty huge that we got Halo Infinite, the new game that's supposed to be going back to the roots of Halo, and it's coming out as a launch title for the Scarlet, which hasn't happened since the first Xbox. There hasn't been a launch title Halo since the first Xbox. Wow. I would appreciate if this website would actually do something. I'd appreciate it if you would talk to your mic. Click. I mean, I'm not talking to people. Oh, one million. Right. Forget about it. What was um, I gonna say? Right. I believe Hike said originally Halo came out on the PC too, right? Halo yeah, one, Halo, was on PC. Halo one and two were on PC. Um, they came, I think, delayed though, and they were like on the Windows Live Gaming service they used to have, which is like long dead. Sheesh. Um, but um, a fun fact, I think, I think it was the first Halo that had a flamethrower in it on PC. Oh really? Oh jeez. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but that but flamethrower. The console never had that. I guess because they couldn't patch it too. So that's probably part of it. Wait a minute, I realized that. Halo Reach did, doesn't have incendiary grenades? No. No, only they three don't. had that. They really don't. Yeah. That just blew my mind. Like, I, I, <laughs> no, Reach, I just realized that. Three had, three had all the special grenades. Reach went back to just the two. Four, had, four added the pulse grenade, and then five changed the pulse grenade the way that it works. Okay. Well, I don't even know what a pulse grenade is. Yeah, you'll, you'll know when that game comes out. And the last bit of long. our news blast today, uh, this week, is a WCCF Tech article written by Alessio Alessio uh, Palumbo. Palumbo? That's a nice name. Wombo? Wombo? Wombo. Uh, titled the Elder Scrolls Legends Development Officially Halted by Bethesda. It's safe to say uh, that this game will no longer be launching on console platforms and won't be getting any updates on PC anymore. That's Basically, a big oof. What is it? Elder Scrolls Legends is the card game. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. So oh, that's what they, they ditched it. Damn, yeah. I, uh, if I don't know about that. It, it's one of, it, it's, it, like, this is a perfect example of you don't need to make a card game for all your properties. But, Elder Scrolls has one. The Witcher has one, but that makes sense because that was a card game in The Witcher. And then you have, like, Hearthstone. Artifact. Hearthstone is its own thing, but Artifact, why does that exist? Mm. No one talks about that either. Legends of Ruterra. Legends of Ruterra sounds awesome. Not even out yet. They did it good, though. They did a good job. Legends they, of Ruterra. They, they, even did were, they didn't even acknowledge. They're like, yeah, I know. We know. When you guys hear card game, it's like another card game. It's like, okay, but here we listen to the actual problems that card they games have. They did it have. differently. They made the card game genre different. What was the problem that everyone had for it with it? Every card game was always turn-based, right? Mm-hmm. This one was, like, a reaction-based. You play a card, oh, your enemy plays a card, too. You summon oh, something, like, your uh, enemy summons something. Like, uh, Teppin. Yep. Hmm. Alrighty, boys and girls, that's gonna be it for episode. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, chill out. Um, you need to chill out. I'll be honest, man, I forgot it's on the TV. Hey, <laughs> Before, why, why is it in different colors? Like, uh, it's just like I just wanted to bring up a quick stuff. question to you guys. What do you guys think about this? Since we, ha- you know, since we're actually on time, we can we can just talk for five minutes. No, we're past the time. Shut up. What episode we is can this? Shut up. Nine. Nine. This is uh, episode nine. Nine. Nine? Yeah. nine. nine or ten? Nine. 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 Yeah, definitely not ten. We should pull up the charts on ten. Pull up the charts on ten and show like how much progress you made. No, it's literally like. That's yeah. It. <laughs> if that. Alright, what did you say? Um, so Colin, hey, Colin tweeted this while we were recording this podcast. He said, uh, Colin Moriarty, for, for those who don't know, what fa- what uh, fascinates me about the massive power jump both PS5 and Xbox Scholar represent is where it all where, is all, where it all leaves third parties in respect to Switch. PS4, Xbox oh. One ports to Switch are already, su- are already subpar. 
you have to assume PS5 and Scarlet ports to Switch are going to be non-existent. Yeah, that's an interesting point. Yeah, yeah I really don't know what's going to happen with the Switch after this in terms of like third-party stuff. Because I mean, it's not it's not as bad as the Wii U situation, but mm. it's not great. Yeah. The Switch is like is, is like a little bit more powerful than the last gen's consoles. Yeah, for those who for those who don't know, uh, porting number one porting isn't free. It's, no, it's, it's not. not free. So, I don't know if you know, but f- I think it was Mighty Number no. Nine. They were like Mighty Number no. Nine's coming to like every console. It's co- it was coming to like eight different consoles or some crap. It was coming to Vita. I remember it got canceled on Vita. Yeah, it got canceled to like at least half of those. Yeah. And the ones that it did come out on barely worked. Yeah, the game was Because good. just because you can get it to run on PS4 doesn't mean you can get it to run on Switch. Just because yeah. you can get it to run on Switch doesn't mean you can get it to run on Xbox. Yeah. I, I mean, obviously nowadays PC, uh, PS4, and Xbox are like a trifecta because they're all in the same architecture now. But you have Switch that's outside of that. Any last-gen consoles sit outside of that. Um, any portable consoles like 3DS or Vita sit outside of that. So, Yeah. So... I think it was Bloodstained Ritual of the Night that also got uh, was supposed to come out on Vita and that didn't happen either. Yeah, there was there was also another game that 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 like the whole Mighty Number no. Nine thing. It was a Tony Hawk game. Oh. That was supposed to come to like a lot of consoles, but then they were like, "Oh, this costs money." Apparently, and it's not easy. Apparently, there's a rumor we're supposed to get a new one. I was gonna say, yeah. Nico was saying. I saw. Uh, I think I saw that article last week after we recorded on last Monday. Yeah. So. We'll see what happens with that. I was so bad. I watched a What Happened, which is a channel by Matt, uh, Matt McMuscles. It's a, it's a uh, series McMuscles. where he goes over certain games that failed hard and mm. explained what happened with it. And by the way, his most recent episode is uh, WWE 20, which oof, that fell on its face. But um, yeah, if you watch the video, the, the Tony Hawk one, I'd be very surprised if that were the case. Because, ooh, that was not pretty. But anyway... So I think what you would have to do, not so much for this generation, as you explained, but for next generation, you would essentially just have to remake the game, but have a lot less to it. Yeah, we're going to have to see what happens. I mean, we're supposed to get we're supposed to get a Switch Pro. Um, that's been heavily rumored alongside the light, which the light exists because it's now it's out. Um, so we'll see if that happens. But then that's going to muddy the waters now because you got two versions of a console and only one's, you're going to have exclusive games like you did with the new 3DS again. That wasn't good. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. I just wanted to bring it up as a quick point because you could sit here for hours and talk about that too. Yeah. All right. That is, this time it is going to be it for episode nine of the Market Podcast. Thanks everyone for watching. Remember to give us a like on the video and if you enjoyed yourself, comment. We want to hear y'all's opinions on today's topics and subscribe if you want to see more. And don't forget, remember if some of you bozos are sitting there wishing you can listen to the show while you're doing your homework or whatever y'all get into, look no further. We're on a number of uh, podcast platforms like Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, CastBox, etc. All links are down in the description below. Same goes for you audio listeners. If there's anything you want to see from this episode, hop over to the YouTube at Black Market Gaming. Show your boy some love, man. We're out of here. Hopefully, and if, hopefully next time I don't sound like garbage. Yeah. And if you're not watching us on YouTube, then I'm going to sand down the bottom of your shoes so you slip everywhere. Why is this a thing every week? What about pharmaceutical companies, Hyde? <laughs> the pharmaceutical companies. <laughs> Yo. Ow. <laughs>